I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm also a warrior. It was the summer of 2005, and I was feeling pain in my chest, in my shoulder, and um, I just thought this isn't normal. I was fitted for the mask that first session. My friend Deb came with me, and she was the first witness to this totally insane cancer treatment. Disc pulled down over my face. I really needed a witness for this. The damp mesh tightly pressed against my cheeks, my nose, my eyes, my mouth under my chin against that tender skin at the top of my Nobody neck. Nobody could possibly believe. We laughed so hard, but actually I was scared to death of the mask. And I really worried, how was I going to survive this? Don't fight don't the mask. Fight don't the mask. fight the mask. That's what my friend Michelle said. She said, don't fight the mask. And all of a sudden I thought, that's right. The mask is not my enemy. Cancer is my enemy. I had to put myself on that table as a warrior. So I turned my mask into a helmet. Nobody was dragging me off to that table. Nobody was dragging me in there. I was there by choice. Um, I, I still needed to have a witness. I thought what I was doing was amazing. I wanted people, I wanted somebody to see that I was doing that. It would have been really easy to disappear beneath the mask. But instead I brought in loud, really energetic music. When everybody left the room, my music was blaring. I had to drown out all that angry buzz of the machine and fill myself with energy and power. When I saw these photos, I was, I was amazed. It was sort of a beautiful sight somehow, even though it was really horrible, because I felt really cared for And I really was able to sort of feel kind of a quiet compassion for myself, for what I had been through. And it was really hard. I am a kindergarten teacher. I am also a warrior. And I am a survivor.